Ladies and gentlemen, this is it. We're talking about Hogwarts Legacy. It's not far away. Drop a thumbs up if you're gonna be getting the game. Dislike if you're not, because uh, I also need to show you real quick, and there's a video I wanna play for you. Man says that just not playing the game isn't enough. I will actively be standing outside of GameStop at the midnight release of Hogwarts Legacy, throwing rocks at people. Bumbaka. That's very brave. Brave. Let's actually roll this man. In the last 24 hours, that has driven fans completely crazy, but this time round, for the most part, in a good way. So let's dive into it. So different houses will have different progressions on individual who are you going with who are you going with i would definitely go over the the main one man main quest but eventually you know. wrap up into the same result now students from a certain house will therefore visit azkaban briefly now the avada kedavra curse can only be learned from a side mission after completing the main storyline at a very late stage oh, as far as the game duration goes for the most part if we're just talking about the base of the game it's supposedly around 35 hours and then what? with everything else taken into account for example the side quest and of course if you del a del url del url 35 hours that's for the main story so that's not counting in like the side quest i think that's pretty good though because there are a lot of games but but again though you know we're gonna have ign employees that gonna finish it in like what two hours or something like that Bruh. so <laughs> that's gonna happen that's you want gonna to 100 percent of the game then it is said to be around 70 hours long <laughs> there are nearly 100 merlin's puzzles in the game and the puzzles are solved in a variety of ways covering almost all of the magic that the player has learned now this mm. is one that actually completely threw me off guard and it's something i don't exactly know how i feel about for the most part but apparently looking back at their first game preview in september 2020 90% of the stuff there has actually been either cut or redone. Oh, now, this is very interesting because more recently in another video that I made... Okay, we so that's the part they deleted because that's what the title of the video is. And and, and essentially, I, I and it's understandable, right? Because this game has been in development for so long. I'm not sure for how long you have been around or, or if you haven't been around for that long, definitely subscribe. But... I'm gonna be live streaming the second it comes out, okay? I'm gonna try to live stream a day early for some of you out there, okay? I got you, but for... I'm not sure if you have been around the loops or not, but the leaks started coming out around like 2017, 2018. This game has been in development for a very long time, man. Very Talking long Talking about time. the shield in this game and how the effect was really cool when it shatters, it has like the particles, but a lot of people are saying we haven't seen anything like that since, so that's an example of is that something that was completely removed in terms of the effect, or has it just been completely redone as a whole? So mm -hmm. I think this is one of those 50-50 things i'm hoping there is going to be a fine balance however now the game's folder was created in 2017 and initially it was intended to actually include quidditch and support all four quidditch positions but then it was abandoned after a year so what? proper trade-offs are still necessary now the large map was cut by nearly a quarter the map blocks of the highlands and swamp areas are still available again but are actually no longer playable areas which is kind of crazy Oh damn okay so that's like that's a leak or that's confirmed i, I want to know but again though like the map is massive, right? And the game is looking looking beautiful, man. So I'm not really worried about that. I'm just hoping for good story, good adventure and exploration. Uh, I just want the game to be quality. I, and it looks quality, it feels quality. I hope it's finished at launch and uh, I hope the story is good. That's all we, we care about, right? Good gameplay, good story. That's what we need, bro. bro. In my opinion, I really hope this is something that if the game sells actually turn out to be really good, that eventually it could be, you know, positioned into some form of a DLC if it is good. And I did see somebody mention that and I think it's just a really valid point. Now, mm. the game is rich in side quests, either functioning like a gameplay tutorial or having independent dungeon exploration and boss battles. Now, it is recommended to try to complete enough side missions or quests, if you will, before advancing to the main line. Now, free side quests for houses, but it seems Ravenclaw House was actually ignored. Nothing for their companion, which also explains why there is a confusion surrounding the Ravenclaw companion as a whole. Let me know what you guys think about this or how you feel as a whole in the comment section Yo, below. honestly, like, we gotta pump the brakes on this one, right? I, I need your thoughts on this one, ladies and gentlemen, because they always say this, they always say this, that this game is gonna be the next-gen game, the next-level game, it's gonna have everything. And this time, I'm really excited. I truly am excited. I'm just hoping that... It's not cap. I really hope it's not lies. Stop the cap. I really hope this time the game is a banger and it's not a Hogwarts Legacy 2077, bruh. Now, Principal Black doesn't really have much of a role, but he has a fan-pleasing part in the main storyline. Now, the PlayStation platform exclusive missions is apparently said to be very interesting, and apparently, if you can, it is actually recommended to get the PlayStation 5 version solely for, I imagine, not just, of course... Yo, this where, where the bots at, man? <laughs> where the Xbox at, though? Where the Sony ponies at? Where the Xbox at? Personally, I got a Sony Pony 5. Uh, let me know on what platform you're getting this game on. I'm gonna be getting it on Sony Pony 5, but I'm assuming that is because of the exclusive 
exclusive content. Uh, it's not gonna be that much, but still there will be some, I guess. And it's likely due to the controller stuff, right? Exclusive mission that they're talking about here, but also about the, of course, I guess you could say the unfair advantage yeah. that a PlayStation 5 would have when it comes down to being able to actually sort of use your control for motions, etc. Like that's a really cool feature. Unfair, unfair. <laughs> and if you wanna see that video, unfair. check out the card that's on screen right now, because we do go a bit more in depth over there. Now, talking about flying in general, players can fly near slash over Hogwarts Castle, but cannot ride a broomstick or mount into Hogsmeade. Now, Bruh. players can even catch the Phoenix inside the game, and I wanna give a big shout out to Kazi, who actually shared this breakdown on Reddit from the initial thread that was revealed, where it went a lot more in depth, but these are ultimately the highlights. How do you feel about this list? Let me know in the comment section below. I've got to be completely honest with you, I'm very, very excited for this game, and as far as spoilers and leaks and- uh, I would say the same, man. I I think the last time I was this excited was for Cyberpunk 2077. And, and I, I know Bruh. it sounds kind of brat-ish, but Harry Potter is just, I grew up with this franchise, man. Like I grew up with this. I, I, I have watched these movies like billion times already. Probably gonna try and re-watch before the game comes out if I find time. Uh, I'm kind of slacking on that, but, but the thing is that, man, this game needs to deliver. This game needs to deliver, man, because there is so much controversy. The controversy is gonna help with the game sales, that's for sure. People that love it, gonna help it. So, the game sales, they got it down. This game is gonna sell well. Let's keep a buck 50. I just hope they deliver, man whatever you want to say go for video games in general for the most part i'm very much always on the sideline where i kind of don't really want to know what's happening but then at the same time i was just kind of given and i go ahead and find out the information so now right. reading this list for example and i assume this is going to be one of many right but it's going to you know happen over the next couple of weeks i assume there's definitely going to be situations as well which is always inevitable where somebody basically gets the game accidentally early right and yeah, you know true. it goes from there for the most part but i guess there may actually be limitations now with of course like pre-downloading the game etc etc so i guess we'll have to wait and see but there's no doubt somebody uh, is going i will try to live stream it around like february 5th or 6th that's when it's going live early like that's when the nd is gonna lift right so i got you on the channel definitely hit the subscribe bell but there are definitely people out there that would be getting it uh they will be stealing some would probably pay extra to get it early some might get it illegally and stuff like that we gotta get a whole lot of spoilers man i really hope the ending doesn't get leaked out uh god of War ragnarok end ending was leaked before the game even came out so i mean Bruh. yeah you know going to probably land with a physical copy accidentally right in the next couple of weeks but of course as we get closer to this release date now it's where we're probably gonna get a lot of interesting information for the game and one of the things that has been going around more recently which again is very i guess subjective to how you feel about video games for the most part but if you were following or at least you knew about the cyberpunk 2077 build up and release and how it ultimately went south a lot of people although i hate to see it keep comparing this game to you know the release of that game and also kind of have <laughs> yeah in a way we kind of did but listen man if people are doing that, you cannot blame the people because how many times you have seen unfinished games? I'm just hoping. I'm really excited for this game, bro. Like, I, I genuinely am looking forward to this game. I'm just hoping that it's not 2077, okay? I'll, I'll be at Hogwarts... Uh, Bruh. Cyberpunk 2077 is good now. It's good now. It's good now. I have that fear but... to saying, is it going to be, you know, just one big overhyped mess? And the short answer is, from my personal opinion, from what I've seen, I highly doubt it. And one of the big reasons why is because the devs and the community for this game is incredible. Not to say that the community isn't incredible for a game like Cyberpunk, for example. It well, is. Ladies and gentlemen, click on this video on the screen. This just happened. Or click the video on the left. Uh, this is where this Karen goes completely bonkers. Completely bonkers started throwing. Click on it and I'll see.